you know it is uh quite unfortunate that that is how we describe people now uh, a hungry man is an angry man mm. it, it used to be a, a figure of speech it used to be <clears throat> but now it's it's actual it's playing out uh, you, you wonder why people are unnecessarily aggressive or but you don't know where that person is coming from and what the situation had been from home that the naira has appreciated over uh, a couple of days now for if if i'm not exaggerating sometime within last week till today the naira has done so well for itself it has appreciated to a great extent and yet prices of commodities in the market have remained the same if anything it is going higher i can i can i can understand that some people will say they have old stock they need to sell out and you know still make their gain uh, but you know that is not the case for everybody. That is not the case for every commodity. Uh, but what do I know? I'm just a journalist on TV, you know, doing serious economic analysis and breakdowns. We'll leave that for professional economists. But I, I, I want to say that the much we can do for ourselves, we should do it. We have the history of Nigerians. As Nigerians, we have the history of taking advantage of situations, harping on it and making life worse than it should normally be for certain situations. So I do not believe that certain commodities should still be going for the price that it went a month, two months ago when the dollar was at rocket high. Now it has come down. Why are you not reviewing your prices? What does that say about us as individuals? It's easy to sit back and point at people in political positions, political office holders, the presidency, the president. But you are in this position now and you are refusing to do the right thing. How do you react, Josh? Well, there are a whole lot of um, factors you could look at, not just the fact that Naira has suddenly started appreciating. The question you need to ask yourself is if you buy miscellaneous items, I mean your perfumes, you know, your fancies, you know, expensive shoes, you ask yourself, has the custom duty been reduced? Mm -hmm. The last we heard was the seventh time the federal government reviewed the custom duty. So it means that in as much as the Naira continues to appreciate, is the federal government ready to reduce the custom duty placed on imported goods? Mm. If no is the answer, so we cannot complain. Why is the price of certain commodities not reducing? Now, if you look at it from another angle, local content, your food, maybe the rice, the beans, and all of that, the, uh, what's it called? The subsidy remover that, ha you know, that has a um, rippling effect on the economy in terms of cost of transportation. Mm. Has it been improved on? The roads, you know, these things ply to get to you here in the urban cities. Have the roads been fixed? Certainly not. So mm. we cannot continue to cry why the goods, of, goods and services that people, you know, patronize have mm. not in any way reduced in spite of the fact that Naira has appreciated. These are factors you need to look at until we look into this issue of import duty reduction road network improved and of course the cost of diesel or fuel that some vehicles have to run on is reduced the cost of goods and services mm. continue to so high. i agree with you josh however i disagree as well i okay. disagree with the woman selling abalomo and mangoes who told us the reason she's selling one piece of abalomo for 250 naira is because, is because dollar. the dollar is high it's the ignorance, uh, uh, um, it's when, the ignorance. oh no exactly my uh -huh. point when i said you because are you in a position to do the right thing you? And exactly uh -huh. you don't a lot of times you you get it from the back of your house and you're selling it in front and you're <laughs> you telling us of, yeah. and you're telling us that the dollar Dollar is the reason yeah, a piece of Abalumo is going for yeah, 250 naira. Okay, good. So now the dollar is, you know, at par yeah. to a great extent with naira. What are you doing about the Abalumo that is still for 250 naira? Are you I kidding me? I understand. It, 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 it's a lot, you know, for it, people who. It's just, it's just to say this when <coughs> uh, minimum wages increase, mm -hmm. then everybody begins to harp on it. Okay, you've gotten a pay rise. Okay, I should be able to increase mine. So it, it just explains why you say. Dollars they reduce. Mm. You were happy on it the first time that dollar increased, so you increased your so dollars reduce. Why not reduce your so it's the ignorance? 
most of those things that they sell are not important. But they want to harp on the fact that dollar is increasing. Therefore, their own price of goods and services will increase. Mm. But the fact that some goods are not dependent on either dollar rises or falls. The question is, how do you get your goods and services to where you sell? So you look at those factors within mm. and determine what your price will be. I, I agree with you, uh -huh. you know, from the point where you said it's ignorance. Mm. Because, you know, I, I wish that when people say dollar is affecting my sales of uh, electric uh, materials or abalo more like we used in the past, is I, I wish you understood for real how the dollar affected your commodity. Do you get what I'm saying? Sure, sure. I'm not just saying it because of your selfish interest. Mm -hmm. Everybody is saying dollar is affecting their business. You cannot compare the uh, the price increase that the that the man that owns an electronic shop in 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 Alaba, uh, Ikeja uh, 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 computer village to you that is selling something else that you you grow by yourself. And this is not me taking it away from the fact that you put in work. Mm. You actually uh, uh, invested, yes, mm. invested into your commodities. But there is a huge difference. And you don't even understand that difference. You get, you don't even understand what the intricacies of that difference is for you. But you just open your mouth, like we say in Nigeria, wow, mm. and you say dollar. It has everyone, increased. Everyone wants to cash into opportunities. You understand? It's, increasing. Let me increase. If so, if if the prices of imported goods have refused to come down, even when the naira has appreciated, I can understand because import duties remain the same, mm. if not keep going higher. Sure. You understand? But please don't tell me that for goods that are local, contents. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. exchanged within mm. within Nigeria and con con the country. You can tell me the roads are bad. I can understand that, but something can be done. There can be a change. I, I mean, for the fact that where is your humanity? You get you in don't. Business? Ex yes, exactly. <laughs> where is your humanity? You can't. You can't. Um, I, if you say in business, then it still it still um, um it still amplifies the point I'm trying to make because you cannot be ripping people because you want to make gain. It's just like at the point where uh, POS operators were taking a, uh -huh. a ripping amount from you could they could still have made gain with an increase, but they didn't have to increase the way that they did. You get the point I'm trying to make. That's what I say. Sure. That's what I mean when I say raise your humanity. It's a capitalist mentality, which it's a lot. Let's it, make profit at all costs. These are conversations that we are not ready for as as uh, mm. Nigerians. Mm. But of course, we've had a good run today, a good mm. way to start the month sure. and start the week. Uh, at the same time, we started from uh, top stories and newspaper review. Very, very uh, interesting stories that we went through this morning. I'm, I'm sure you were boiling. You wanted to talk about a couple yeah, of those you know, stories. We, but... we didn't have time to talk about the newspaper review, especially mm. one of those stories that made headline where Koka says, stop you know, allowing Nigerians to queue up for aid because we are not in a war torn mm -hmm. situation. So why should Nigerians be seen at some public, you know, places queuing up under the scorching heat of the sun just to get bread? Mm. It's pathetic. It is. It is. Have pathetic. you gotten to that point it, uh, as a nation? The other day, somebody was saying it's not a sign of failed governance when we have to rely on water area to supply us grain if it's not a sign of field governance then what it is what is it tell then me what it is just oppose it with what bayon onuga said that bola tinumbo never saw the enormity of the economy when he came here and this is somebody who said he had been and yeah he, he had had this ambition 50 years ago and he had done his own work nothing is adding up <laughs> you know, oh, can we talk about uh people who are uh, uh breaking into government owned owned and private owned warehouse houses and cutting away foodstuffs and it, it's did you not say a hungry man is an angry man yeah, so it, it, does that make it, it okay to commit i'm crime? not here endorsing that but i'm just saying that it speaks the obvious doesn't it uh, what obvious that people need to feed do you want to die hungry <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's a, it's a lot, um, a lot that ha has, that Nigerians are having to do. I'm even, you can, you can see that I lack the words to mm. describe what I'm trying to say. It, it, it's hard. It is hard. Oh, for somebody who is recovering from uh, under the weather, you, you that's see not a very nice deep. thing to see say to me. Deep. You know, so head, you my head do has nothing to do with my health condition. <laughs> you're not, you're not I mean, I survived. <laughs> they say at this point in Nigeria, no, try not God, to fall sick, and I fell sick. We you should be, you health. should be, you should be organizing no, we, a no, Thanksgiving we know how to service. Do it back yeah, at the, at the back chair. You that is to leave me and disappear. <laughs> Good to have you once I, again. I do anyway. not know you, Josh. Really? <laughs> Don't deny me. I'll deny you before my father. Oh, <laughs> I see. Really? 
<laughs> All right, and away from the newspaper review, we got the opportunity to talk about Senator Ningi, the suspension, mm. and the reason the suspension is being reviewed. You know, uh, there has been a lot of things flying in the uh, on social media, even on the mainstream media. You know, that review has been reported by several papers, and one of the most trending things about it is how that Nigerians think that uh, Akbabio and his men are trying to take their attention away from that allegation of budget pardon. I don't, I, I, I'm trying to be very, very, um, um, mind the language that mm -hmm. I use, but I, I would not blame the average Nigerian who feels that way, because how do you go from denying that there wasn't any, anything of such, and then <clears throat> suspending the man who brought it up on the accounts of uh, false allegations, and then now you're saying, if it is false allegations that like you outrightly called it, mm. then he should be allowed to serve the three months. So it will serve as a deterrent before, to anybody before else. Before being allowed to serve mm. the three months, was there any <coughs> fair hearing? Mm. He who alleges should come forward to prove. Why didn't they give Ningi the opportunity of having a fair hearing? Is that hearing? what we're about to have now? Maybe. The opportunity. Perhaps, you know, they have to now take, after taking two steps forward, they have to take eight backwards. <laughs> what they should have done before now, and they're not doing it. So it tells you that in a country <laughs> where we live in, the issue of fair hearing mm. is also affecting even the higher mighty, as it were. Nigeria happened to him. Mm.